Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and this is your weekly reading for August 23rd through 29th, 2021. This reading is for all Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome in and if you're returning, welcome back. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you and all of your fantastic energy. Just a reminder, especially for the new folk, this is a general reading and not every single message that comes out will resonate with all of you. Just take the parts that apply to your situation and leave the rest behind. So let's see what we've got for you for the week ahead. We do start with the full moon in Aquarius. Uh, it is in alignment with Jupiter. So this is a time of expansion um, and growth. It's also a time where some good luck and good fortune come in. I won't spend too, too much time on the full moon. Okay. Even though it does start out your week for the first couple of days, you'll be in that energy. Um, I do have full moon readings already posted for each and individual sign. They are full length readings. And uh, so you may want to check out those for yourself. All right, we've got great achievement coming out and we also have letting go. Perfect for the full moon, right? Full moons are about letting go, especially with that Aquarian energy. All right, releasing yourself from anything that has been holding you back. And this is a time for you, um, Leo, where you may be embracing some unconventional um, you know, unconventional ideas. Okay. You're dancing to the beat of your own drum. You're doing what is right for you. You're not necessarily listening to other people. We have great achievement coming in. So an event, all right. So some of you have some really good news, uh, coming in here. Now this can have to do with a relationship, a job, uh, something just to do with you. It may or may not even be your great achievement. Okay. You may be attending some sort of banquet or event, but it is a very happy time, okay, to celebrate yourself. Give yourself that good old proverbial uh, pat on the back. Some of you are making wedding plans, all right? You've got some milestone that you are celebrating, okay, whether it's yours or someone else, all right? But it's a very happy um, event that is here for you. Now, it could even be that you get invited to uh, some business networking, um, you know, something, some banquet or something, something that uh, can actually open um, open up your horizons, okay, allow you to do uh, a little bit of social networking there if you are so lucky and inclined, all right? But this is a time to celebrate your achievements, celebrate your successes, all right? And, you know, like I said, some of you, it's you're making plans for something. You're either making plans for a big banquet, so to speak, okay? Or, um, you know, or you may be attending one. You may actually just get an invitation uh, to something as well, okay? But this is a beautiful, wonderful energy. It's a milestone for some of you. We have letting go, and this is all about energy, tap into this Aquarian full moon to detach and release anything that is no longer part of who you are, no longer part of your future. You've had a huge awakening here, Leo, and you know, you're just seeing things a little bit differently. You're, uh, you're expanding. All right. We had that new moon in your sign on August 8th. We also had that Lionsgate portal that opened up as well. So it's a lot of fresh new opportunities, a lot of brand new energy that's coming in. But in order to make room for the blessings that are headed your way, um, for the abundance that's headed your way, okay, something's got to go. Now, in some cases, this is just energy that you're letting go. All right. You may um, be practicing some cord cutting meditations, clearing out your chakras, all of those things, getting yourself back into balance, into alignment. For some of you, it's actually letting people, situations go, all right, making that positive change moving forward. For others, it may be uh, something like a change in your belief system as well, breaking free from conformity, letting old belief systems go by the wayside and embracing your true self and who you really are. It can also be course correction. On something, if you are hell bent on achieving a project or goal, uh, you may be going back to the drawing board a little bit, revisiting something, going, you know what? I don't know if this is really working for me at the moment. I think we need to revisit something. I think we need to do something a little bit different. So there may be something there that you need to let go. All right, new things coming in for you guys here. So let's see what angel numbers are highlighted for you in the week ahead. What angel numbers do we have here for Leo, please? Thank you very much. We have number 28. I am a leader. 
In an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team towards achievement. Yes, Leo, you absolutely do have this within you. All right, tap into that inner strength. Some of you are following your dreams. You're following your goals, right? If you've got some lofty career goals, this is your time to shine. Leo, this is your season. All right, we also have number 26 coming out here for you. I am tactful. Hmm. You have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with other, allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. Tap into that Aquarian energy of innovation. All right, so love that. So be on the lookout for twos eights and sixes or any combination of those all right there'll be some probably additional messages there for those kind of number combinations for you let's see what else we've got for you guys messages please for leo for the week ahead messages for whoa leo thank you how am i receiving this this way okay thank you uh we have number 15 that is nature all right, this deck labels them a little bit differently. Just so you know, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords. There's that clarity, that epiphany, that detachment. Advice from Spirit, Seven of Chalices, the Seven of Cups. And we have the Six of Pentacles as your outcome. Oh, yes. Now, with the Six of Pentacles as your outcome, I gotta say, there may be something unexpected, some unexpected reward, some pat on the back, some reward for an achievement, an accomplishment, possibly. However, the beginning of your week, we do have card number 15. Now, in this deck, this is labeled nature, um, but this is ultimately the devil energy, Capricorn energy, okay? Um, it is very similar. But this is exploring, hmm, now with letting go, okay, I do have to say, some of you have been doing some shadow work, all right? This is a weekly reading, so I'm not going to go like super deep into the energy. We already did go wee, really, really deep in the moon readings that I did, okay? But for some of you, you are exploring some facet of yourself and you are releasing a karmic cycle, okay? You're also letting go of bad habits, bad behaviors, okay? Um, when we do have the devil energy, this is about doing a little bit of shadow work. All right. But you know, this is releasing yourself from anything that is no longer serving you. All right. And you can be in the pursuit. Some of you are in the pursuit of material pleasures, material things, right? Money. Okay. Money, um, anything that makes you feel good, anything in your material world. And when we do have the devil energy here, we do have the ace of swords as well. Okay. Um, Look at the fine print for things, okay? You may have an offer that's on the table. You may have an opportunity here, um, but there may be some strings attached. There's always some strings attached when the devil shows up, right? Um, but you, uh, it's not that it's anything necessarily bad, all right? It just may need you to um, put up some very firm boundaries right out of the gate. Keep a little bit of perspective. Keep a little bit of a distance, for example, you may have an opportunity that uh, you have been working towards and you really want it. And let's say it's a career opportunity. Okay, we do have an eight of pentacles here. Um, you really want it. It's something that you've been working hard to achieve, working hard towards. However, there is a possibility that there are some strings attached to it as well. So it may, may be an opportunity that pays you a lot of money, but it also requires you to work a lot of hours. Okay, sacrifice something um, to achieve that. Now, sometimes we do need to take those kind of roles, those kind of positions. We've got the bills to pay. Okay, um, you may already be in that um, current energy, right? Something that, you know, is, um, you know, a good job. Okay, you may actually like the work, but you may be in a toxic environment there. So there may be a need there to let go, to try something a little bit different. You may be trying to break free out of that. It could be a new opportunity that is here for some of you. And it's a great opportunity and it may pay you really well, but it may require you to work in an environment uh, that is not healthy. It may require you to work for a company that you don't really believe in. Okay, maybe they're 
they've got some, um, you know, bad press, uh, that kind of thing. Okay. But you got to pay your bills. Okay. You got to put a roof over your head. You got to pay the bills. The work itself may not be that bad. Okay. But this may be a short term gig for you. Okay. Something that you do for like six months, uh, six months or a year, um, just something to get by. But in the meantime, you're keeping your options open on the side. You could also be with this nature energy and letting go. Okay, you may be obsessing over something a little bit, especially um, uh, a little bit of a workaholic energy uh, that is here. And, um, you know, if you are doing any kind of manifestation or anything like that, there is a need to let go of the need to control or know the outcome or all of the finer details. Okay, one of the major keys to manifestation is letting go. Setting your intentions, living in the high vibration, living in the energy and the vibration that you've already received, everything that you are manifesting into your life, and then letting go and trusting that things are working for you behind the scenes, that spirit's got your back, all right, and that um, your manifestations will flow towards you. But when we have the devil energy coming up here, this is that reminder that we may be a little bit obsessed, all right, something you need to detach from that outcome. All right, things always get a little bit crazy when the devil shows up, right? So um, you may need to ground yourself. You may need to ground your energies. There may be some behavior, some habits that you are detaching from as well. All right, especially um, if you're trying to make some positive change in your life. Think uh, kind of New Year's resolution-ish um, kind of things, right? Um, making better choices. Um, you know, uh, you know, if you go out uh, with your friends and you clink a glass, you go out for your happy hour, maybe it just ends at happy hour and it doesn't continue till 2 a.m., right? You, uh, you, uh, you went in for one beer and you left at 2 a.m., okay? Uh, so you might want to put up some boundaries within yourself, practice some better habits, okay? Take care of yourself a little bit better in that regard, okay? But there is always a need for boundaries and perspective when that devil energy is there. There is a need to detach okay, from anything negative. And again, sometimes we're in this energy because this is where we have to be for the moment in time. But keep your options open, all right? And I do feel that some of you are really, really, really focused, okay? Your workaholic energy um, in this, you're trying to accomplish something. You're right here. You're at the finish line, okay? You're about to get rewarded for all of your hard work. It's been draining, okay? It's kind of taken your life over a little bit in some way, okay, but you are nearing that finish line there, okay, and you're about to be, get rewarded for your hard work and your effort. The Ace of Swords, okay, well, Eight of Pentacles as well. Eight of Pentacles is working hard, achieving a level of mastery, mastering a skill, mastering a craft, almost at the, almost completing something, okay, and, uh, but you're actually loving what you do, so even if something um, even if you've been really focused on something, obsessed over something, okay, you you are also finding a lot of pleasure and a lot of enjoyment out of it, okay. Even if it's uh, potentially taken over a large portion portion of your life at the moment, some of you are on the quest for finding something that you really love. You're trying to break free out of this darker energy of where you may currently be, and you're trying to find something a little bit healthier for you, healthier lifestyle healthier work environment, healthy relationships even, okay? You're also making improvements in your life as well. Learning new things. Um, moderation, <laughs> okay? You're working to improve your life, make better choices, all right? You will be rewarded for it, right? You're doing a lot of growth, a lot of personal growth in that as well, okay? With that eight of pentacles, you're almost at the finish line for something. I'm feeling that there's something new coming in. We have the ace of swords, epiphanies for sure, okay? We can use this sword of clarity of truth to break free out of anything that's been holding us back, any toxic energy, okay? It, the aces are always lucky. They're always the results of manifestation. And the ace of swords does bring us in some new information, some clarity, some purpose, Okay, some honesty, some truth, also, again, using that sword to detach from anything from the past, from the present that's holding you back, holding you down, okay, and this fresh ideas, okay, that come in. This is also, um, you know, uh, positive communication as well, 
that is highlighted for you with this ace. Okay, so you might be receiving some good news. Certainly some good news. Okay, the seven, uh, this also fate and destiny, victory, success, all of those wonderful things. Those aces bring luck. Seven of cups, I'm gonna go right back to that devil energy with the seven of cups, okay? The seven of cups can quite often be that advice from spirit that something is getting out of hand, possibly something to do with alcohol, drinking, okay? Those are good vibes, all right, but that tend to get a little bit out of control, out of hand, and we already have that message coming out there with the devil energy, okay? So spirit's really trying to highlight that for at least somebody that will not be for all of you, okay? So just a little healthier lifestyle. Okay, but the seven of cups is a reminder there from spirit that the doors of opportunity are opening up for you. The world is your oyster at this time. You may have um, a lot of op a lot of options. All right, especially if you've been working on something uh, that eight of pentacles can have you um, getting a degree in something for those of those. Uh, well, I'm not even going to put an age to it. Uh, it doesn't matter how old you are. You can always go back to school to elevate, uh, elevate your um your education, okay, your offerings, okay, what you, uh, your knowledge, all right, doesn't matter how old you are, some of you are in your 20s, some of you are, you know, um, in your 50s, all right, my best friend just spent two years in university, finally got her teaching degree after, you know, 25, 30 years, <laughs> okay, it took her forever, all right, so, you know, uh, later in life, getting um, following her dreams, following her goals, all this time after a million detours along the way. Age has nothing to do with it. So uh, you may be uh, going back to school with that Eight of Pentacles, okay? And that opens up a world of possibilities for you. But that Seven of Cups is about having a lot of options, a lot of choices, all right? And, you know, sometimes we do get stuck in an energy of analysis, okay? We might feel a little bit overwhelmed. So many opportunities that are opening for us, the doors, and, you know, um, sometimes we get a little bit lost. So spirit wants you to come back to center. Okay. Listen to your intuition and follow your heart. Make a choice. Okay. Get out of analysis mode if you've been there for a while. Okay. And to make your choice and to move forward, make a decision, follow your heart, listen to your intuition. Always. You will not go wrong when you do those. Okay, you're being very much guided. There's a lot of magic that's around you guys right now. See these elementals? A lot of magic that's surrounding you right now, okay? Opening up a world of possibilities for you. The Six of Pentacles, though. I love the Six of Pentacles. Um, there's a surprise heading your way for some of you here. You okay? You're about to be rewarded for all of your hard work. Now, it could come in the form of a celebration, could be a surprise invitation for some of you, right? If you're um, if you're going to an event of some sort, um, if this is something in regards to your work, um, your work or your school, uh, for some of you, it can can mean some re financial relief. If you are, uh, hmm, interesting. If you are in school, there may be like some financial relief. Possibly, you get a scholarship, some sort of bursary. Um, maybe a grant of some sort, okay? And that gives you that financial relief that you've been looking for. There could also be a bonus or a raise of some sort that coming in that you may not have been expecting, okay? You may have hoped for it, but you may not have been expecting it. There may also be some financial relief coming in there for you, a little something you didn't quite expect in other ways as well. It could be something as simple as a credit on your phone bill. It could be like a little small win somewhere along the way. But the Six of Pentacles reminds us about the law of giving and receiving. Okay, honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Equal investment for equal return. Okay, balance and fairness, all right? The law of giving and receiving. What you put out is coming back to you. It's a reminder that if you do have an abundance of something, that maybe is a time to give back to others in some way. Knowledge, time, money if you have it. All right, because it is, uh, it can be an energy of charity, charitable donations. All right, someone may be giving you some financial relief, okay, a loan, maybe a living inheritance, something that gives you just that little bit of breathing room. Not necessarily a massive windfall, but certainly something that helps, but certainly something that is a little bit of a surprise. You may even get a job offer. You could get headhunted. 
All right, if you put your resume out there, all right, you've got a lot of skills, a lot of transferable skills, okay, a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience. Someone wants you, okay, you've been manifesting a new opportunity, guess what, you might get it. If you've been invited to some sort of event, um, whether it's your event or not, um, this may be a perfect time to spread your wings, to network a little bit. You never know who you might meet or what doors of opportunity may open up for you. So if you're a little reluctant, if you get an invitation for something and you're a little reluctant on whether you want to go or not, go. Just go. At the very least, you'll have some fun, you'll have some food, maybe meet some new people, but you never know. You never know who you might meet. Okay, so go. I'm going to leave, uh, yes, I'm going to leave that part there for you. Uh, let me see. What am I going to close out your reading with? Hmm. I am thinking this one. So let's get some practical advice. Let's get a little bit more details here for Leo. Messages for Leo, please. ring, crossroads, cross, moon, fox, and the garden. So we have commitments, completions, we have decisions, and we have a little bit of a burden, possibly a public event, gotta say, uh, possibly a wedding or an anniversary, all right, that there may be an invitation there too, okay? Uh, you may be a little bit undecided whether or not to go, but there may be something there for you. With the moon and the ring, okay, um, you certainly do have a reputation for meeting your goals, meeting your commitments, all right. And it's because of that reputation that you may actually have a new opportunity coming in here for you. All right. You're certainly completing a cycle with the moon and the ring. Okay. You're certainly completing a cycle. The moon can be that cycle energy. Okay. So this full moon may be the uh, really important time for you to wrap things up. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. So that you can move forward with something. Oh my. Okay. Um, but you really have a good reputation for getting things done. For completing things and leaving no stone unturned. The rune can be about how people see you. It can be about your reputation. Okay. Um, and uh, you are certainly wrapping something up here. Okay. But that may lead you to new opportunities. Um, we have the crossroads and we also have the fox. Um, the crossroads can be about making decisions, being undecided, and a little bit of flip-floppy energy. You may need to be a little bit crafty uh, in a situation, okay, in order to make, uh, to make a decision, okay? Um, the fox can sometimes represent something wrong. So, you know, you may have to make some decisions, and there may be a little bit of fear of making the wrong decision, making the wrong choice. Seven of Cups. Follow your heart, listen to your intuition, okay? You got some choices to make here, all right? And we already see that coming out in your reading. With the cross and the garden, the cross can be something, um, you know, something that is uh, a burden, something that is a painful, something that causes you a little bit of grief, okay? Um, the garden can be uh, about uh, a large group of people getting out in the open, networking, all right, you may need to get out of your comfort zone just a little bit, as we already said there. Okay, do I stay? Do I go? Do I, you know, attend some sort of event there with a lot of people? You might not necessarily be the type of person that loves being in a, a crowded group, but this could actually open doors of opportunity for you. And with that cross being there, that can possibly be um, some very important event to somebody. It can... Um, uh, you know, it's typically in my Lenormand vocabulary, it typically is something, uh, something negative. 
However, it can also be something religious or spiritual. So it could possibly be a wedding, an anniversary, some sort of milestone uh, that you go to. It does bring you a little bit of uh, grief, okay? Um, possibly because you might not want to go, okay? Maybe you're going to see people there that you don't want to see, um, or it could just be that you're uh, feeling a little bit overworked and you might not feel as though you have the energy to go, but you know what? It might be really fun for you if you do that, okay? I'm going to leave that there for you, Leo. Hopefully there was something in this reading that helps you along your journey this week. All right. Hopefully something resonated with you in some way. If it did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a fabulous week. I thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.